Why would the CW do this? Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Gotham Knights video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be something to inform some people about what's going on here regarding this game and a TV show that's titled exactly the same thing. Before we jump into this, if you're looking forward to Gotham Knights, the game that is, well, then scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button, share your excitement with me. I know I cannot wait until October 25th, later this year, and next week for Summer Game Fest, where we're gonna get a brand new reveal for the game. If you're new here and you wanna keep up to date on all things going on for Gotham Knights, again, the game, well then hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, you'll be immediately notified when a video goes live. And trust me guys, I will keep you up to date on everything for this game. And with that being said, let's uh, let's let's jump into this, okay? Because a bit of a rant incoming. Let me take you through the timeline, okay? Back in 2020, we had DC Fandom, the first ever DC Fandom go down in August of that year. During DC Fandom, we of course got the amazing reveal for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League from Rocksteady, but earlier in the day, WB Montreal finally revealed the game that they've been teasing for a long time, and that was a game centered around the Bat family titled Gotham Knights. The story of the game revolves around Batman presumably being dead and the members of the Gotham Knights, the team being Red Hood, Batgirl, Robin, and Nightwing having to take over and protect Gotham City. Then an entire year after the game had been revealed, after it had been marketed, people have been aware that there is a game coming out centered around the Bat family in which Batman dies and it's called Gotham Knights the CW decides to order a pilot for a show titled, drumroll, Gotham Knights. And what's the story, you may ask? Oh, Batman dies and a bunch of vigilantes that are sidekicks have to take over and protect Gotham. And very recently, I believe it was announced that the show is not just gonna be a pilot, I think they got ordered an entire series, so there's gonna be a full season of this show, and with that came a trailer for the show, and, and listen, normally I like to remain pretty positive on this channel, I'm not a very negative guy, normally when it comes to superhero related content, I'm very excited, especially the games. Some people give me crap for it, and I understand, but I'm a pretty positive guy, I like superhero games, I like superhero movies, and I like superhero shows. But, oh my goodness, does this Gotham Knights show not look very good, in my personal opinion. And the unfortunate reality here now is that since that trailer, and since really in general the announcement of the show being a thing, the devs working at WB Montreal have been trying to put out the PR fire and say no, there is no correlation, no connection between Gotham Knights the game and Gotham Knights the CW show. In fact, if you go over to the Gotham Knights official Discord and scroll to their FAQ section, you'll see that they've answered this question because they've probably been asked it so many times. It says here, is the Gotham Knights game connected to the upcoming TV series? The answer being the Gotham Knights game is an original story set in DC's Batman universe and is not connected to the Gotham Knights TV show. And then finally today, because again, so many people keep asking if they're connected, they have to put out a tweet. They said here, message from the Belfry. The Gotham Knights game and the upcoming TV show of the same name are separate projects with no connection to one another. We can't wait for you to experience the action of our Gotham Knights soon. And still, you have people in the reply saying, what made you guys use the same name? I, come on CW, you guys gotta figure something out here and change the damn name of the show. I feel so bad for the devs here because they've been having to answer this question a million times now and the game was revealed first and it was probably in development long before this CW show was ever even a concept. I understand that Batman Gotham Knights is a comic book and the idea of sidekicks working together to help out Gotham City isn't something that's entirely original to either the game or the show. It's just that the premise of the game simply being borrowed in this show as well is what's frustrating because they both have Bruce Wayne dying and those sidekicks taking over. Some people like to say that Gotham Knights seems to be borrowing ideas from Batman Arkham Knight. And in my personal opinion, I completely disagree with that. At the end of Arkham Knight, Bruce Wayne is presumed dead, but you can tell clearly that he's still doing his Batman thing around Gotham. He didn't leave it in the hands of Nightwing and Robin and Batgirl to try and take over or anything like that. He's using the fear toxin and he's created a new myth for Batman. Whereas in Gotham Knights, the game and the show, they're trying 
trying to make it very clear that Batman is dead. Some people don't believe that, and that's totally understandable. We'll have to wait and see when it comes to the game, but in the show, they've tried to make it very clear that Batman is dead, and in the game, the setup is that he died. I don't know, I, I try not to be negative on this channel. You know that I just want to be positive here. I am genuinely excited for the Gotham Knights game, and I just want to share that excitement with people who are also looking forward to it. I put $500 down to pre-order the collector's edition. I put my money where my mouth is, so you can't tell me here that I'm just trying to get a free copy of the game or anything like that. No, I spent my hard-earned money on that game already, okay? It's just that this is such a frustrating situation, and I'm just a guy covering the game. I'm just a guy looking forward to the game. I have nothing to do with actually creating it, so I can only imagine how frustrating this must be for the folks at WB Montreal who are getting these questions day in, day out. So I asked the CW to please make some sort of statement about this, similar to what they did on the Gotham Nice Twitter page, mentioned that the show and the game aren't connected. It almost feels like the fact that they haven't done that already may be on purpose. Maybe they're trying to trick people here into thinking that they are actually connected so that they'll go and watch the show if they're excited for the game. And good luck to those people because what you're gonna get is a 3D printed Batman cowl. So I'll say this loud and clear one last time for the people watching at home. First of all, Gotham Knights is not an Arkham game. It's not connected to the Arkham games. It is not continuing where we left off at the end of Batman Arkham Knight. It is a brand new original DC game from WB Montreal coming out later this year in October. Second of all, it's also not connected in any way, shape, or form to that awful looking CW show. They have no correlation with one another besides the fact that they share the same name and that show is unashamedly borrowing the same idea from the game. With that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about all this? What do you think about this situation? Are you just as frustrated as I am? If you're looking forward to that CW show, I, I want to hear why in the comment section below as well. And if you enjoyed today's video, if you could consider hitting that thumbs up button, it would show your support and I would really appreciate it. I'm Caboose and you can click on screen to make your way to one of the other videos on the channel, or you can click my logo to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those links are going to be in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed, leave a comment if you have an opinion, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.